Mr. Atkinson is someone who I describe as a quiet giant. I'd have met Mr. Atkinson back in 2018 for the first time when I took a position as principal of Roger Clark High School and I found him to be a very honorable man, a gentleman, a man with a very calm disposition who is never ever short of giving solemn sound advice. I've had the pleasure of working with him, engaging his services at the school and it was through one of these experiences that I realized that this is a man of God and I've always admired him, his dedication, his commitment to anything that he's doing, not least of which is his commitment to his wife, Mrs. Atkinson. And so I take pleasure in two facts. One, the opportunity of having met him and worked with him. And I take pleasure in the fact that I am confident he's now with his savior. He's resting in the arms of the Lord. And so to his family, his children, and more so to Mrs. Atkinson, I encourage you to stay strong and keep his memories close to your heart. Rest assured that you will meet up with him in another time. He will be missed, but he is resting in the arms of the Lord. Thank you. Well, um, I'm Dwight Bellinfanti, teacher at Roger Clark High School. Paying my respects and tribute to Mr. Atkinson. Um, he's somebody I knew for over 15 years. And from day one, as a young teacher coming into Roger Clark High School, you know, I met Mr. Atkinson as he came on campus, you know, to interact with the staff and with his wife. And we have always had a very good relationship. You know, we'd sit and talk sometimes, if the time permits, for half an hour, 20 minutes. You know, a few minutes sometimes he's driving by, he'd stop and heal me. But one of the things I've always appreciated is how decent that gentleman was. And um, he has touched me, he has impacted my life, and some of my lowest points, Mr. Atkins would be there, you know, to give me a word of advice or some encouragement. And I appreciate it so much. I just want to say to Mrs. Atkins and the family, just stay strong. And he was one of the decent ones and he's going to be missed. All right. There are so many memories I have of Mr. Atkins, Brother Atkins. But we have, I have asked to give only one. My memories, one of my memories seeing Mr. Atkins in the afternoon, whether he's coming up the driveway or when he reached that school and he was asked, how are you doing? When we see him for the first time, we'll say to ourselves that, is he someone we can talk to? But when he opened his mouth, oh my God, his words of encouragement are so refreshing. And that is one of the things that I love about Mr. Atkinson. And I want to miss it dearly. But one of my reassurance is this, seeing and knowing that he was a man of God who lived through the promises of God, I know that he, his soul is going to get a better place. And so for the family, Mrs. Atkinson and the children, I know in this period it's hard to let go of a loved one, but let the life that he lived, the good life that he lived, the life that pleased the Lord be that of a memory for you. So, as his soul rests in peace, continue to let the good and the positive moments of your husband, your father, live on. Our beloved brother is with the Lord. Um, as I see a few more persons coming in, please make sure that you are six feet apart. Um, the government has set guidelines and we must abide with that. And I don't have a hundred thousand dollars to pay, and you don't might you might not have it either. So um, please bear that in mind. 
I'm going to invite the undertakers to come nearby and uh, folks please stay where you are you will hear everything there's no need to move closer just stay where you are right where you are uh, undertakers um, please be near so we will move the body to the grave for coming. Yes, yes, Councillor yes, Fisher. Yes sir. Come this way sir. Uh, welcome Councillor Fisher. Um, you come this way sir, you can come right here. We don't want, we want to make sure that you... Uh, Reverend, other members of the clergy, members of the Berry family, ladies and gentlemen from Content and elsewhere, Balaclava Union. I came here this morning with a very sad heart because someone that I know well, someone that I was very acquainted with, somebody who I got along well has passed and they have pa he has passed in a pandemic and it is very difficult as I travel down to the graveside to see many people wanting to be here but cannot be here but this morning quickly I want to say to the bereaved family that you have lost your loss is great he might not have walked with the kings and the queens he might not have traveled king's house or garden house but he walked the walk. And that is why, as a counselor, I had great admiration for him. I've watched him in his duties from being a deacon at North Content Church until his elevation as pastor's Elam. And if you know the story, I have high regards. I recognize him wherever I go and speak publicly because he might not have worn the color or he might not have come out of the theological seminary, Reverend. Yes, sir. But he was a man of God, yes, a very humble man. Yes, sir. Today, the people miss him. Yes, this morning, when I was reflecting, I think of the people, the higglers on the roadway, people like Miss Maud, who many taxi men wouldn't carry. Yes, sir. But Brother Akis make it his duty to carry her. Yes, many people, the bar people. And I can tell you, Pastor, as a Christian, he get along with everybody. Yes. He runs joke with everybody, but yet not have to commit a sin. Yes. He just know where to break off. Yes. And I think the taxi men, they will miss him this morning. And unfortunately, they are not here. Because had it not been for COVID, they would be here to lead the charge. Or a few is here, sorry taxi men. The Higlers would be here. And so I say to you, the family I will be always be here for you whatever it is brains and all of you I'll be here for you Shauna I'll be here for you because I know what it is this morning to lose a husband a dedicated father and a man of the community oh they tell me of a cloudless day oh they tell me of an unclouded sky they tell me of a place where my friends are gone. Oh, they tell me of a cloudless day. I believe and I'm confident my friend and brother is resting and is awaiting us in that cloudless sky. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Councillor Fisher. And I must say to you also that uh, Pastor Ankinson and the family speaks well about you. And um, you and I, we lose a very good uh, person in our community. We're really happy that you could be here, sir, to take the time out to address us in such a fine style. I now invite the pallbearers to um, move the body closer to, to the vaults where we'll do the commitment. Please stay where you are. We have been good so far. Yes, Let us sir. not spoil it. Okay? Just stay where you are. Undertakers only. And we are very serious where this is concerned. Please. The persons who are doing the mixing of the, the material, you can please start.
Co ty pani mam? I want you to listen very carefully or she won't hear, alright? No, 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 no. No, no, no. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ash to ash, dust to dust. Look for the general let go of the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, even set the spirit for the rest from their labors. <laughs> Alright, so far where you are. <laughs> While the masonmen do their work from where you are, you can look at the back of your 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 hymn. You'll find a few songs there. We're gonna do that together. And we're going to really need those voices to sing from where you are, all right? The first hymn we can sing is When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Do you have a program? Get it out, please. Get it out. When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. I don't see you turning your program. Some people still have it not moving. When the trumpet of the Lord. Yes, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saints of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I will be there. Let us sing together. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saints of God shall gather over on the other shore, and the rule is called up yonder and be there. When the rule is called up yonder, when the rule is called up yonder, when the rule is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there. on the bright and cloudiest morning when the dead in Christ arise and the glory of his resurrection share when the children also gather on the on the yonder side and the rule is called up yonder and be there. When the rule, when the rule is called up yonder, oh, when the rule is called up yonder, when the rule, when the rule is called up yonder, when the rule is called up yonder and be there. Let us live in the world 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 in the Yonder. When the roll, when the roll is gone. 
funeral. The reality, brothers and sisters, you and I don't know how we will leave this world. Some people die and it is dogs that eat their bodies. And some people you can't find them. But we are privileged to have a proper send-off for our beloved brother. And let us not take that for granted at all, at all. The, the family and friends of the late Lenroy Atkinson would like to express sincere thanks for all the support and condolences shown to them during the this phase of life. The kind words, prayers, and visit is greatly appreciate you, and they give you all their love. I now invite Pastor Baker to be praying this prayer for the bereaved family while the workmen continue to do the finishing touch at the graveside. Pastor Baker, please bow your heads in reverence. Our oh God and our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. We give you thanks this moment, eternal God, for this moment, Lord, to share and celebrate the life of our dear brother. Lord, I come to you, the family, O oh God, who has been mourning i pray for them this moment oh god i pray you will ever comfort them give them strength oh god may you sustain them with your strength lord to undergo and to go through this time of bereavement please to bless every family member touch his wife his children oh god Brothers and sisters, I pray you will bless and keep, guide and protect them, cover them under your blood, build a fence around them, O oh God. Lord, and I pray that you will be there for them, O oh God. May you bless them now. Bless the community, friends, O oh God, who stand with them to support them. Keep, guide, and may you protect May you bless us this moment. We going back to our several abroad. We pray for journey's mercy. We pray for protection. We pray for coverage, oh God. Go with us now. Lord, we privilege 
to tell you thanks this moment in Jesus name Amen. 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 thank you Pastor Baker as we recess from this activity thank you so much for coming continue to pray for the family thank you so much thank you counselor for being here thank you may the saving grace and may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God the Father full fellowship of the Holy Spirit the Comforter rest remain and about us all both now and forevermore Amen. Amen. Amen.